Hi everyone, Greeno here and welcome to another episode here on Greeno Eats. Now, you can see I'm stood outside of Toby Carvery again. Recently I picked up a Too Good To Go breakfast bag from here and was really, really disappointed with the contents. I sent a complaint in, didn't really get much feedback to be honest, beyond it was reasonable, you just get what's left at the end of the shift. Okay, fair enough generally, but it was suggested in the comments by KPWHU that I should give it another go to see whether this is more of a systemic problem than uh, just a one-off. So I'm back here again. I'm going to pick up another breakfast bag. We'll take it home. We'll take a look. Hopefully I get a decent breakfast this time. Let's go. Okay then, folks. Back home again. Toby breakfast bag in hand. Let's get inside the bag and see what we've got there. Fingers crossed it's better than last time, eh? Right, well, what I will say from the off is, compared to last time, it's definitely got a lot more weight to it. That's for sure. So, <laughs> even if it's only the same product that's going in there, I guess we're getting a bit more of it. So, let's try and pull this apart a little bit and give you a, a little look at what we've got in here. So, one, two hash browns, again, dunked into the, uh, the juice of various things. Uh, there's a bunch of mushrooms, as we all know, Greeno is not a fan of mushrooms. But we've got a couple of pieces of bacon there. What else is in here? Let's move these mushrooms around a little bit. There's some of this potato hash, if you can see that there, which is like potato and bacon cooked up together. So that's different to last time. And I think... Unless I'm very much mistaken, we have sausage. There were no sausages last time out. And today, there's two of them. Come on. <laughs> so I think overall, compared to last time, this is a lot better, isn't it? We've got the potato hash we didn't have last time. And we've got the two sausages we didn't have last time. The rest of it is fairly similar, although... I have to say, there's more beans and tomatoes in there than there were in the last one. This is definitely a bit better value than the one I had a couple of weeks back, that's for sure. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get it heated up onto a plate and we're going to give it a go. Okay, folks, and here it is all heated up again. So you'll notice I've made myself a bit of toast and a cup of coffee to go with it. If we go in on the individual items here, we've got the hash brown there, which is crisped up okay, considering it was sat in all the soggy stuff. The bits of bacon there, heat it up in the air fryer, get that fat crackled up a little bit more. Sausages there, a bit of brown sauce. The beans are on the toast. I managed to try and separate most of the beans out from the tomato. And also we have that potato hash there. They're all a little bit mixed together, those wetter items, but I'll tell you what, overall, this looks a lot better than the last time I went there, didn't it? Right, well, of course, it's important to get this tasted. So, let's start with the sausage. Cut a little piece there. You can see inside, I cut there an angle so you can see more of the cross section. Just a bog standard pork breakfast sausage, really. We'll try it without brown sauce first. Hmm. Okay, a little dry, but the flavour's okay. I'm going to get a bit of brown sauce, that should moisten it up a little bit, if nothing else. There you go. Mm. That definitely improves the flavour. So let's try a bit of this bacon as well. Like I say, that's just been warmed up in the air fryer along with the sausage and the hash brown. There it is. Again, without the brown sauce first. Mm, not bad. Reheating it has again made it a little drier, which is not ideal, but it's better than freezing cold bacon on your breakfast, I guess. We'll try it again with some brown sauce on there. Mm. The flavour's good, it really is. That's not bad. Let's try the hash brown. Now, last time out, again, I think bringing them home and having to reheat them 
but with them having been so soggy, sat in that bean juice and tomato juice, they were really bad. They're not the best quality hash browns in the world, you can see that. They're just mass-produced catering ones, but we'll give it a try. Hmm. Again, pretty bland. A little bit salty, but no other real seasoning beyond that. Again, a bit of brown sauce on there. Should liven it up a bit. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. All right, let's try this uh, potato hash. Now, we're not going to get the true flavour of it here because, obviously, in transporting it, once uh, they've packaged it up and put it all in with the beans and the tomatoes, you've got a lot of cross-contamination there. But we'll get the idea. Mm. There's nice soft cubes of potato there with onion. I think there's supposed to be bacon in there, but I can't pick any up. But yeah, no, that's not bad. I do like something potatoey with the breakfast, not so much a hash brown. But if you get fried sliced potatoes, that's a, a favourite of mine. Bubble and squeak even is good. Well, what else have we got to try? Tomatoes. Tomatoes are tomatoes really, aren't they? The tin variety, anyway. They're okay. They're uh, diced ones. I thought you might be putting in your pasta sauces. They're okay. Uh, just one more thing to try while I look at it. Which is the beans. I put them on toast. Because I'm British. <laughs> All you people overseas will be going, what the hell are you doing with your life? Putting beans on toast, but... You gotta try it. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad. I think we've lost a bit of the bean juice because it's sort of soaked into everything else. So uh, they're a little, uh, a little drier than I'd like. I like a bit more sauce with them. Again, put a little bit of brown sauce on there. Mm. Nice. Um, I have to say, it's still not the greatest breakfast in the world. But for £2.79 in a too good to go bag, this is a lot better than what I got last time. We've got extra items that make more of a breakfast up. There's still no egg, but I live about 20 minutes away from, uh, from the Toby Carberry. Driving that home, that's not going to improve, is it? The eggs. I'm not too bothered about it. I could always just make myself a fried egg at home or something. But overall, I've got to say, I'm a lot more impressed. If this had been rubbish, I would never have gone back for another one. <laughs> but now it's almost become like a social experiment of sorts. Maybe I'm going to try a different branch of Toby Carvery and see what we get there, see how that works. Who knows? Okay, let me know in the uh, comment section down below what you think of this breakfast. Would you have been impressed with that for £2.79? I think it's fair. You know, it's not the best breakfast I've ever had. It's not the worst, because that was a couple of weeks ago from Toby Carberry, wasn't it? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy enough with that for the money. Like I say, we'll give it another chance, maybe at a different location. Uh, on my Too Good To Go app, from where I'm based, there are three Toby Carberries, I think. Um, the one I visited in Pool is the closest one. But there are a couple of others uh, on the other side of Bournemouth, so maybe I'll try and get to one of them at some point if I'm heading in that direction. And we'll give it a comparison. Okay, so that's going to be it from me for today. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to click a thumbs up on there for me. And if you're new around here and you like what you've seen, click on that subscribe button, ding your little bell for notifications, and you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. All right, I'll have to finish the breakfast with me coffee which I made at home, so I know it's good. <laughs> and I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.